Hi guys, welcome to the ninth episode of the Biology Feder podcast. My name is Ria Sharma and I'm the founder of BFP, a tutoring platform dedicated to supplementing STEM education around the world. Today, we just wanted to have a chilled student discussion and interview two of our volunteers on their volunteering experience with BFP and on civic engagement as a whole. So firstly, hi guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh, could you introduce yourselves for our listeners? Right, so thank you for having us, Jia. Um, so I'm Shilakshmi. Uh, I'm a grade 10 student in um, Abu Dhabi in the UAE. Uh, I came across a biology for better in a like environmental group uh, forum and I decided to volunteer through that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was, it's been great so far. Okay, that's fantastic to hear. Hey everyone, I'm Satvik Agarwal. I'm a high school graduate currently in my gap year. And um, I also came across uh, Biology of Better through the same WhatsApp group. Okay, that's great. Um, so now I'll just move on to, you know, some of the questions that we have that maybe other people Um, that are considering volunteering, maybe this might help uh, them make up their minds. So firstly, uh, what would you say is your favorite part about remote teaching? Uh, My favorite part is probably answering uh, questions that other students ask. Um, We didn't get a lot of questions in most of my sessions, but when we did, those were interesting. It's nice to see someone else's face light up when you answer their question. Mm-hmm. Um, I think my biology teacher used to say the same thing. She said that she couldn't get to sleep uh, if uh, she couldn't answer the student's question. So, yeah. I think sort of adding on to what Satvik said, one thing that I really like is how with each session, you can kind of see that the students become more comfortable with you and uh, they become, you know, more interactive in the lessons and you get more um, questions from them and really answering all that is, it's, it's wonderful. E- even just interacting with them to know that, you know, you are kind of helping them in some way, which it might not be a lot from your part, but to them, it, it, it's, a be- it's like a difference. I think just knowing that itself is like a, is a really nice thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, forming close bonds with your mentees uh, and helping create, you know, that kind of engaging learning environment. That's totally what tutoring in general should be about. And that's really what we try to do at Biology for Better. Um, so moving on uh, from what you guys mentioned before, how would you say that tutoring has helped you grow as a person? I think that uh, maybe this wasn't as intended, but I have so much like newfound respect for my teachers. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, going in, I didn't think it would be like very difficult or I'd have to do, put in like lots of effort, but it's teaching someone is not exactly as easy as it looks. And I think that you only really notice that or realize that when you start doing it yourself. Of course, once you get into the hang of it, it it just kind of sort of comes naturally to you. But the starting out part, it's a lot of, um, you have to like research a lot. You don't know the questions that the students might ask. You need to be prepared for everything. You have to be really thorough on the topic. And I honestly like, thought that, oh my God, I've been taking my teachers for granted all this time. And yeah, I just have so much respect for them now. I definitely agree. I I definitely think that uh, my respect for my teachers definitely increased uh, through volunteering and uh, tutoring students. And especially in biology, which um, isn't my subject. I studied physics, chemistry, and maths, and want to pursue engineering. So uh, first of all, teaching something that isn't uh, my strong suit uh, helps me understand that those concepts better and kind of makes me realize how important those concepts are. And uh, it also makes me feel grateful that I had such good teachers who were able to teach me well so I can um, go on and support and teach other students what uh, they might have not been able to study otherwise. 
Um, I really love the point you mentioned, Safik, that, you know, biology wasn't originally your subject, but, you know, helping your children that might have, uh, you know, um, given you some knowledge of the material yourself. So would you say that, you know, this kind of tutoring, can it help others also learn concepts that they're unfamiliar with? You know, actually, um, I, I was one. I was able to ask Sal Khan this question. Um, it was through a YouTube uh, Q and A session, and I asked him what is his secret to learning so many various topics. Because um, he is um, he studied electrical engineering and mathematics at, uh, back when he was in MIT, and now he teaches almost all subjects, including chemistry, biology, and you know everything. So his secret is that he loves to explain things to others and. That's how he learns things. And when you explain things to others, you're able to better understand what, um, where your knowledge gaps lie. And I think um, this is the best way to test whether you have understood concepts is if you can, if you're able to explain it completely to someone else. So definitely, uh, if um, if even if biology is uh, your strong suit, teaching it and uh, explaining it to others definitely helps you. Yeah, I completely agree with that. The Feynman method, it's uh, tried and true, been tested several times. Um, Shri Lakshmi, would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, like like you were just mentioned, I think it's really uh, been shown time and time again that the best way to learn is to teach someone else. So you can know where your strong points lie and sort of work on that, but also, you know, work on what you're not so good at, which you might not have noticed when you're just learning with like a textbook or learning through an, any other method. But when you actually go and explain it to someone and you will even like know how to kind of um, put a concept into a really easy way, <laughs> Does that makes sense. Uh, you know, you could just like uh, make everything concise and say it in a way that anyone can understand. I think that's really where the key point of learning is. It's not using fancy words or uh, things that might be hard to grasp, but just putting it in the easiest way to understand that may, even someone who isn't um, very well versed in that topic would be able to understand it with just like a single sentence. Definitely. I think that when, you know, you're able to explain a topic, like if you're explaining it to a five-year-old, um, when you're able to explain it like that, that's when you've truly, you know, mastered something. Um, so shifting focus away from tutoring and biology for better, what would, you, what would you say has been your most meaningful volunteering experience as a whole? If you've had any. Right. So personally, I've volunteered with um, Operation Smile for around like uh, almost two years now. So I think that you really learn as a student volunteer. One thing that I think is that you kind of come to notice that you have a lot of privilege in the world to be where you are at the moment that maybe you wouldn't have noticed otherwise. And another thing that I would say through volunteering that I've learned is that a small thing that you do really, really can impact other people. And it's these small actions that might not be, you know, a lot in your eyes that makes a difference to someone else. Like, I remember that um, for, with Operation Smile, we used to make cards for the uh, families who are going to send their children into like surgery and you know just making a card maybe takes like 20 minutes it's not a lot of effort from your side but the the family just feels so nice that you you're putting in so much effort for them and it's not even that much effort but it's still such a big difference for them I think that is something that I really like taken away from volunteering that your actions, it, they make a huge difference to how others perceive you. And it's, it's honestly an experience that I wouldn't give anything in the world for it. But volunteering is, it has been wonderful, especially with children. I think volunteering is really nice because um, 
you know, they're around the same age as you, like just slightly younger than you, but they just like, it, it's just so nice to be able to help them to put it in the like simplest words, honestly. Yeah, volunteering definitely makes us realize our privilege. You're completely right on that. Um, most of my other volunteering experiences have also been uh, related to teaching. Uh, uh, another uh, organization that I volunteer in focuses on teaching physics. So all of my volunteering experiences have been surrounding teaching. And I think it's, uh, uh, it's a great opportunity to not only learn concepts yourself, but also give back to others. You realize that you're great. You're very lucky to have received great teachers who are able to, or receive great schooling, where you're able to learn concepts and clarify your questions and uh, even even implement that knowledge by doing some projects. And uh, when you teach to someone else, um, I think what gives it value gives it value is that you feel a sense of accomplishment at the end. You see someone asks you a question and you're able to answer it, or you just see some child go, aha, yes, I get it now. So I think that sense of accomplishment is what um, teaching, uh, volunteering by teaching, like in Biology for Better, is what's really great about it. Wow, well, that's, that's really great. Um, so yeah, that marks the end of this podcast episode. Thank you so much, guys. I'm sure that our listeners really, really appreciate your insight. If anyone would like to join Biology for, Be Biology for Better and help tutor, uh, please go to biologyforbetter.org to sign up and we will reach out to you shortly. Uh, till then, goodbye till our next episode.